All right. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're back in New Frontier talking about the, the town capture event, which you can subsequently join from the main map. Just press join event. Um, we're going to talk about town capture, kind of maybe some tips and tricks of it, the ins and outs of it a little bit here. Um, the ultimate goal of it is to capture the objectives A through E, hold them. And whoever runs out of points first loses, so that's what we're here for. Uh, let's talk about best choice of guns. In this case, I'd like to get a shotgun as well as the Rock Spring Ranger, so we're going to try and find one of those now. If we can, just pick up a little bit of everything as we go along. There we go, there's a shotgun. And now we just need the Ranger, and we'll be set. The Ranger can be harder to find. Um... So we'll take anything we can get in the meantime. Like this 1885. I don't really care about all the other drops. The arrow is decent. Not amazing. It's better to use from inside. It looks really bad otherwise. Um, we probably should have helped capture this objective, but whatever. So, so far we got two objectives down. Let's equip this. Just try and get on this event. There we go. So we got the buckshot. We got the 1885. So now from here we're going to push up to C and we're still searching for a ranger. Once you have the gun you won't drop it. I also tried to grab a little bit of stuff as we go here. You never know what's going to happen. Other best advice there is always make sure to shoot the person once they're down. Uh, unfortunately, there is a resurrection system. Why the devs would put that in in a game where it's capture the flag, team deathmatch style is beyond me. I'm assuming they literally just made this town capture event on top of the very poor attempt at the battle royale that they also made. So there's the res system which needs to be taken out. I also honestly don't like the ammo that spawns everywhere. I think you should have to just refill ammo at the bins and be able to pick up ammo maybe after, off of people that die. But I think that much ammo in the world causes lag in the event and causes issue in the event. So at this point, our kit is okay. The other goal here yet is to get... Um, a Rock Spring Ranger, and then I'll be happy with that. As the final setup. In fact, there we go. So now we can get rid of the arrow. We can get rid of the 1885. That ranger is kind of weak, but we'll take it. Make sure we change it to the new ammo type, which subsequently the we did not pick up any new ammo when that happened. And it looks like there's a crossfire over to there. There we go. He's down and dead. So now at this point... We do need ammo, ironically, because it did not fill up on ammo. Oof. Did not fill up on ammo when we were at the... the respawn, because we didn't have the gun at the time. So that's gonna become an issue. We've got nothing. I think we got five steel, we'll take it. So now at this point, the goal is to work the objectives as much as possible and go from there. Um, I don't really mess with any of this other stuff. Just the guns and, and that's it. And hopefully not die in the process. It's still best to open this and use it from there. Like press tab to open. Right click to use, it's still the best way to do it. The other system is garbage. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. So, and again, there's too much loot that spawns. All the repair kits, the mod kits, everything don't matter, need to be taken out of the game because they just don't fit 
the team deathmatch style that this game was like this round was meant to be like a team deathmatch style. Now the only other things to look out for is to be really careful um, with the spawn camping. People can really close up close to your spawn. I think that's nothing that needs work. But if you can just keep them off your spawn, uh, you're going to be a lot better off in the long run. Because I've had rounds where they just like come right up in here and it just it's it's BS. Should not you should not be able to get that close to the base. So the, but this is an issue they've always had. Always, always, and every variety of town capture and otherwise, people have always just wound up crowding the spawn. Another interesting thing to know is most of these things just take three shots to kill and then they blow up and look pretty. But the only thing I pick up, uh, or I would advise to pick up, is always pick up the bandages and ammo. Or not the bandages, not, not what are you shooting, dude? Not the ammo. But the bandages and the tonics. Oh, it said fucking pull. There we go, headshot. It was just like taking the round there weirdly. It's very bizarre. So now if we can work up and take C. And then what people don't realize is B is over here on the hill. Ouch. So again, use med. Go ahead and use the tonic too. And we'll see. Ooh, we should have had that. Whatever. I can see that the devs still don't do anything for name filters. But when you're bleeding out, just, just kill yourself. Like, the feature is really, really bad. It, it needs to be removed. So I'd rather just die and respawn and have a better flow. The flow is definitely not there. And I am definitely not good at this because the hitboxes are terrible. Everything is terrible. And I'm just such a positive person for this game. But no, I, I kind of wanted to just try and go through it without nerd raging too hard. And so far, it seems like we're 50-50 on the, the ginger snap, so... But yeah, most people don't realize as well, like I was trying to say before we died, is that B is up there on the hill by the oil rigs. Ah! This game. I don't know where he was from 26 meters. He was pretty far away. Or was not that far away, I should say. Excuse me. Oh, and like all other conventional capture the flag, like point dominance type of games for some reason unlike those ones you can't spawn on the points captured in this game which I think is a terrible concept so again I'm going to reiterate I feel like they took the Magnificent Five data and fucked it into a capture the flag style game for what reason I'll never know that's actually a friendly I forgot that the name tags don't show up at extreme distances Someone's got to be in the barn here, so let's check. Yeah, someone just died there. So that's A over there. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll, we'll stay on this point as long as possible. Hopefully we don't die. And again, there's no footsteps, nothing, so you don't know when a person's coming because you can't hear when they're coming. So It's all just luck. There's times like this, it would make sense to put this stuff down, but... I think you shoot it to ignite it? Yeah. Fancy. Yeah, let's listen to the person in chat here. Cap the points, you idiots. Yes. I really appreciate the flawless teamwork. So we've gotten Delta back. Let's see. If we can clear this up at all. Teamwork team. If we can get across the street here and see what's going on this way, that'll be good. But if we can take C and work it down from there, I think that's going to be the best bet. A is always a bear to take. Just 
trying to get as many tonics as possible. This is one of the many windows that you can't jump out of, apparently. At this point, running door to door here, we're going to keep shotgun up for now. We're going to peek up here and see if we can catch anybody on their spawn. This is A over here. That's B up there, and they'll often snipe from here. Where you going, buddy? So the worst thing you can do is be a noob like me and hang around on buildings too much. Best bet is going to be to stay on the move. There's somebody down there. I see them. I see them. We got lucky there. Make sure you reload every chance you get. And I am getting capture credit by pinning myself in this corner here, so remember that. And we can't hear any kind of movement, so we're literally just reacting as we can to the craziness. He had magic dust. Was that magic dust? Oh, yes. Magic dust is shield. Good to know that. There's somebody over there. It's still three shots every time. I tend to try to knock down the bigger walls as I can, so just in the way otherwise. And now we're pushing to take alpha. Oops, 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 oops. So you do anything about this. I did not see where they were. Bandages are easy. Tonics are hard, and I never see that dust anywhere, so. We should be able to catch him in the barn, coming out of the barn. How did you both die? Oh, did this guy maybe? Oh, dude. Thank you. Oh, okay. That was a headshot, but he had a shield again. <laughs> I think we traded there. I think we traded. I'll just bleed out. He's probably going to get res because he has some buddies right there. But now this is the point where we dropped like half our bandages and half of everything else. So we were able to capture two back. We captured D and C. Just staying on the move. Um, unfortunately, there is a big amount of clunkiness. This is a nightshade engine, but it is what it is. Let's see. They're probably pushing D right now as well. And I never see that magic dust, so I'm not sure where they would have gotten it from. Yeah, they're on C and probably working towards D, yeah. Try and catch him right there. We missed him. He jumped into the barn. Dudes. Thank you. Just jumping. Jumping around too much. This is better than the old town capture, but like I was saying as well, it's the same issues that we run into. People can get camped in a little too much. It's a little unfair at times. There is some rotational spawning like you see in other deathmatch style games. I think we'd be a lot better off. And then again, the team play right here. I see two people in front of this guy. They could have rezzed them, you know, and they chose not to. So stuff like that, the lack of team cohesion there. It's typically what costs you in this. I mean, it's not that fluid to begin with. So anything kind of just throws it out of, the ba out of balance to the point that it's going to be a bad experience. It's going to be a bad play experience.
apparently. The metric is different there for shotguns. Did we get C back? No, we did not. Okay, so again, I'm going to run in here. Hide out in this corner. Do we have C right now? Yeah, see, it's coming down slowly. It is going to take forever, though. Someone's, like, right up there. And I prefer to be in first person, by the way. You can swap with C pretty quickly and easily. I think we're going to have this no matter what, so let's just sit on C and cap it. Hopefully not get shot in the face. It's not showing it like it did last time either. Someone's shooting at me? This guy. Are you stuck, sir? See, don't camp like this. Don't be a little bitch. This is not what the game's about. You get to bleed out because you're a little bitch. <laughs> Seriously. And that Rock Spring M19 is just the Rock Spring Ranger minus a sc no scope. And this is the one that nobody ever remembers to go for. There is a Bravo objective up here. We'll go take a look at it. I don't often come up here because you normally die since it's so close to their base. But the Bravo objective is right there on the oil rig. And this is where you turn into a giant asshole if you start spawn camping them like, like me, like yours truly. So there's their spawn. I tend to not go any closer than this because it's just a dick move otherwise. And even then, sometimes you just do for the sake of it. But not a terrible event, not an amazing event. It's fun, especially playing with buddies in a Discord. Um, I, again, it just seems like it's an event where it's just too much back and forth. Um, you can get spawn camped in easily, etc., etc. That was actually a better round, but uh, let me know what you all think. And remember... Shotgun and sniper rifle. Best choice. Y'all take care and enjoy the frontier.